Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm diving into the newest devotional kit from By the Well for God. I just did an unboxing of this kit, so I will have that link down below if you want to check that out. I do believe this is shipping out now, so I will have an affiliate link down below where you can order this kit. So I am starting on day one. We're jumping in, talking about prayer this month drawing near to God. Um, and so I'm journaling in Hebrews 4.16, which says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So I just wanted to kind of kick off this uh, devotional just with this reminder that we do have the ability through prayer to come to the feet of God and boldly make requests and just bring bold prayers to him and he will show us mercy and grace. And so I have pulled out a variety of die cuts. These floral ones were the little bonus extra goodie that we got from ordering from By the Well for God. And then these ones are the ones that came in the kit. So I have a little cluster that I'm going to make there. I'm going to use this uh, stamp from the stamp set that comes in the kit and then I just have a variety of other products that I'm going to use on this entry. It'll be a pretty quick and easy uh, entry. I just wanted to kind of show you a way to use the products since I just did the unboxing. So let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we will get this entry uh, finished up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this video pretty sped up, but just for the sake of it not taking forever. And also it was just a really quick entry. So I'm starting out by creating a background. I'm just blending some uh, hickory smoke, hickory smoke, <laughs> Distress Oxide ink. This is a cool gray. I'm using a makeup brush to lightly build up the color in this bottom left-hand corner. So I found that it's easier to go in with several light layers than it is to just go in super heavy headed super heavy handed right out of the gate. So I'm just kind of building this up. I love the colors of the kit this month. I love the kind of washed out faded look with the grays and the pinks. And I, I think it's just going to be a lot of fun to play with that color scheme. So you see, I'm just kind of anchoring the uh, die cuts down here with that gray background. And then I'm just going to layer these up. Now, like I said, most of these florals came as a little extra bonus goodie from ordering from By the Well for God. And I like to trim down the white border just so there's there, there's less of a white border. And that seems to work for me. So now that I've got them all where I want them to be, I want to adhere them all down without rearranging things. So I'm just taking some washi tape, sticking it to the back of my hand so it's not very sticky at all, and then using that to hold together all of those pieces so that I can um, apply adhesive to the back and then stick them down all at once. That way I don't have to try to remember where they were or that kind of goodness. I did go ahead and add a little piece of that grid washi. That is hands down my favorite washi tape in the world. It's from Felicity Jane. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. I love using that as just an accent piece in my uh, journaling. For this piece here, this is Abba Father. I did go ahead and pop it up on some foam dimensional squares. That is the awesome thing about working in the Illustrating Bible, which is now available for pre-order uh, over at Dayspring. So you can definitely head on over and grab this Bible if you missed out the first time around. I stamped down that little paper airplane using the Versamagic black ink. That is really becoming like my favorite ink. It's amazing. It doesn't bleed through. It's waterproof once you heat set it. It's awesome. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go in with the watercolor uh, dot card and that black ink does not move when I go over it with the water, which is amazing. So keeping with that kind of washed out look, I'm just adding kind of a messy splash of that pink. I'm not fully filling in that paper airplane. I'm just kind of leaving the color in the areas where there would be shadowing on the airplane. Um, so it's really, really faint and uh, just messily put in there and then I just use that blue color for the heart. I'm going to add a little spotty like flight trail. So I penciled it in with my pencil first just so I would make sure that I didn't mess up and had it where I wanted it and then I went over it with my precision pen um, and then I can go back in and erase the pencil lines and then this way it turned out fine. I didn't have to worry about like it being all wonky if I went in with the pen straight away. I'm just gonna kind of clean things up here and then I believe I'm gonna go in with the title. Yes, so my title is gonna say Draw Near With Boldness. I'm using a variety of the uh, add-on stickers that you can get from the shop. I do like to use my uh, 
T ruler to line everything up and I love using eyelash tweezers <laughs> to grab a hold of letters. I get questions about that all the time. Uh, those just are like my go-to craft tweezers. I did my journaling off camera and then now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my tabs. So I'm just kind of flipping through everything that comes in the kit to see what's gonna work best for me. I do like to go ahead and cut those tabs in half. Now this phrase, Abba Father, does not fit on this tab. And so this is kind of the nice thing about these dewdrop ink pads is I can go ahead and just ink up a very specific area of this stamp, like the word Abba and the comma. And then I can go ahead and stamp that down. I'll make sure that I clean my stamp really, really well, and then I can go ahead and ink up the word father and then offset it. So that's another reason I love these dew drops is you can get in there and like um, ink up specific areas of a stamp much easier with these tiny little um, ink pads. And they're great for travel because they're so small. So these are a win in my book. I do like to go ahead and trim off just a little bit so it's not sticking up as far. And then I meant to do this on camera and I was slightly off camera, sorry, but I just retied my bow clippy to be more of a bow rather than the little like tails sticking up, if that makes sense. Um, I am gonna layer some more of this grid washi over the tab, top it off with that bow clippy. And then off camera, I do highlight the verse. Again, that's Hebrews 4, 16. And that is it for the entry. So be sure to check out the unboxing down below. Links are all down below for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.